Hello, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Schiffer, and I'm the Executive Director at Native Child and Family Services of Toronto. Over the last three months, we've been working with the city alongside many other partners to support Indigenous children and families through COVID-19. In honour of National Indigenous Peoples Day, we asked Mayor John Tory if he would join us in a discussion on reconciliation and Indigenous innovation in the context of COVID recovery. Mayor Tory, thank you so much for making some time to join me today. It's my pleasure, Jeffrey, and thank you for all the work that uh, Native uh, Child and Family Services is doing to, uh, to be our partners. Thank you. Yeah. So I wanted to start just by acknowledging that the city has taken significant steps over the last three months to engage Indigenous organizations and community in discussions about COVID-19 response and recovery. What role do you see Indigenous organizations playing as you continue to lead our city through COVID-19 recovery? Well, I think one of the great lessons we have learned is when you form uh, partnerships with those organizations and you you actually let them you know set the agenda to a greater extent and we're there kind of as the supporting partner as opposed to the leading partner that you produce something that not only has more effective results but that you produce something that can be sustained what you learn is the community itself is so incredibly diverse um, that you're best then to go to these organizations and say okay we want to help you with food security you're going to design the the program the delivery mechanism and so on. What we're gonna supply is funding and other support to help you deliver and design and make that program work. And so to me, the innovative uh, you know, capacity of the indigenous communities is almost unlimited because um, they, they are so diverse and they have to come up with a solution that is you know, unique. And I think the, the creativity that I've seen has been, um, you know, has been incredible. And, and it really proves that if you, if you form these true responsive, sensitive partnerships, that that will work better for everybody, including the city. Yeah, and I think it's an exciting time for the city with the new Indigenous Affairs Office getting off the ground, doing excellent work, um, and really changing and supporting the relationship that the city has between a lot of Indigenous partners. I'm just wondering, throughout that work, um, how is your concept or understanding of reconciliation changing? What does reconciliation mean to you in the context of this pandemic? To me, it's respectful, collaborative partnership. Um, you know, behavior that uh, I think epitomizes the spirit of reconciliation. It goes out of looking forward and saying that we're going to reconcile, we're going to treat you as partners, we're going to be sensitive to your unique uh, needs for different kinds of support than other people. When you approach it in that spirit and not worry sort of who the senior partner is going to be, in fact, you actually want the community itself to be the senior partner and driving forward the initiative that you're undertaking. It's going to be more effective, it's going to work, it's going to have the confidence of the people you're supporting. And to me, that's very much in the spirit of reconciliation.